Hey everybody, well, it's uh, Friday again, another week down the toilet, but at least it's time for a Friday morning model cars and coffee, and I need a little shot here, get me going here, and yeah, we'll just set this right back over there, a uh, pretty cup that my wife made me. And today, a couple little uh, coupe thingies showed up. And this first one here, I eh, built this a while ago. We're talking maybe like, uh, oh man, 2015, right in there. So I don't remember too much about it, like uh, the paint. I don't remember what I used. For that paint, I can't even guess, but it's kind of a neat orange color, kind of a creamsicle orange, maybe. And I just kind of did everything orange the grill, no, uh, no chrome around the headlights, the taillights are just uh, stuck in a hole, no chrome, but I got the chrome bumpers and stuff. Yeah, I really like that color. And I believe I color sanded this. Let's take the hood off here. And it turned out pretty good. Uh, like I said, I don't remember too much. This is that AMT 41 Plymouth Coupe. You don't see too many builds of this. And why they picked a 41 Plymouth Coupe, uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm glad they did. It's a neat car, but it didn't seem like it was a very popular car. But uh, you build it right in real life or on scale, and it looks pretty good. You know, goobers all over it. Been in the case forever. Anyway, let's take a look at the motor here. I stuck a V8 in it. Looks like a small block Chevy. And I did some spark plug wires. And a coil and some wire looms and painted it a little bit different orange that's more like a creamsicle orange there I guess but I got a fuel line there just real quick little detail did I do anything I don't think I did a carburetor linkage or anything though you put a little air filter on it. it's got a little goober on it there we go and I gotta touch up the radiator holes right there. I'll need to do that. Interior is a different shade of orange. Might be, I think it's the same color as a motor, but I shot it with that pearl. Yeah, I'm sorry, I get where we can see it better. I think it always shows better this way. I shot it with that pearl uh clear coat i believe gloss pearl clear coat that they don't make anymore to give it kind of a pearl look i think that's what i did whoops there we go and the steering column and steering wheel is a little bit darker orange changed out the floor shifter in there so it uh, looks pretty cool yeah the chassis again some different shades of orange uh, I think that the chassis is even a little bit darker than the uh, than the body there. And then this is engine color. So I got at least three different shades of uh, orange there. It looks pretty good. And then I kind of scratch built the old exhaust there. And I was going to do the tank aluminum or something, but it looked pretty good like that. Did the shocks there a little bit different color orange. Whoop. Did a little uh, detail paint in there with the silver. Put the white walls on it. And those torque thrust looking wheels. Whoop, there went the bumper, I think. No, I don't know why so long ago. I don't know where those wheels are from. But they're cool wheels. They got the little groove in each. Uh, in each spoke there which is kind of neat so i don't know I don't remember where they came from but it's a pretty neat kit it you know it doesn't go together the best it takes a little finesse but uh 
It's a good looking car. And like I say, you build it right, get the right color on there. And it looks pretty good. Yeah, I slammed that sucker down big time. I think I built like two of these, maybe three, but I only have two left. And then the other one will show up down the road. And then one more here. This is an AMT uh, Willys Coupe. It's been around forever. And this I built in about uh, 2007. I had to be off work for a while. So I, I uh, built this kit. I was going to model meetings, the model club meetings back then. And they had a monthly raffle. And I won this kit, which worked out great because I've been wanting it for a long time. So I came home and started building it right away. This I remember is Krylon paint because I was trying it and this turned out pretty good. And then I, you know, I color sanded it and I got it a little bit smoother and it turned out good. And I put the wheels and bigger tires on it from one of those uh, Pro Street Chevelle kits or something. And it looks pretty good. I got the Cherry Bomb mufflers on it. And the, the nose fits pretty good, but I didn't try hinging it or anything because that that never works. It's got a pretty nice mo uh, motor uh, engine in there, the blower and stuff. I did the firewall white. I should have detail painted that, but I didn't. But the headers fit in there pretty good, and that's a nice little motor that comes with the kit. Let's spin it around here. I did the. Get that out of the way. I did a two-tone on the interior there. That's that uh, corduroy looking cloth that I've shown before. That I have a little bit left. So I put that for inserts and on and on the door panels there. You can kind of see it and see it on the seats with the white. And it looks pretty good. Did I do a headliner? No, it didn't do a headliner. But there it is. It's it uh Looks pretty good yeah that paint turned out uh, pretty good over the years I think it was still drying in the cracks and stuff you never get all that crap out of there but those are nice wheels and tires I love those old tires I don't think those are the ones that came with the kit either but it you know the, in the, the front end fits on there pretty good I think I had to finesse it a little bit but I didn't try to get it perfect because I mean, that's a whole lot of work on these stupid things. This one in, see right there? This one in the pickup, it's just, uh, it's just what it is. But it makes a good little street machine there. Uh, kind of like a street freak looking thing. Got the tail lights, the headlights. Mostly it's all out of the kit, except for the wheels and tires. I think the mufflers are different, but... It's a neat kit. I like it. I've got also have the kit where you can be either build this or the pickup, like what uh, Zippy did a while back. So someday I'll crack that thing open and try doing the pickup version of it. But that's the two rigs that showed up this week. AMTs, neat kits, typical builds, and then we got to do. Uh, Got to take a little stack of these here real quick. So we'll just uh, fiddle down here. Let's take that much and see what shows up. Uh, I try to do these every week. and I get, get, I get anxious because I, I don't look at them. Let's get this out of the way. And I wait for it to show you guys. So I'm seeing them for the first time too. So let's see what we got here. This is a pretty cool picture. I don't know if we've seen this one before or not. But I love all that stuff in the background there. Kind of looks familiar, but I'm not sure. Nice trunk there in that old 55 or whatever. Check out that uh, blower setup on that. Pretty crazy. Look how short that is. Man, can you imagine driving that thing? And then they graduated into longer ones like that. Yeah, look at the difference in that. What, what, what a few years makes. And you got that little shorty. And you got that. Pretty cool. Nice little crowd back there. 
Well, this is an up and down one here. That's interesting. That's a neat picture though. Let me get the glare off there. Yeah, oh, he's got the little, uh, that's probably the plywood uh, big spoiler thing they used to do on the front. Get through the air better. Oh, this is nice. A little 36 or so coupe. That's a nice looking little drag car, a little street rod looking thing. It's like he's racing a, like a 55 Ford or something over there. That's a nice little car there, man. There's a nice shot. Drags are coming off the line there. Just coming off. Tires are up in the air. Smoking the rear slicks. Everybody's watching it. That crowd back there. That's probably the push car or something sitting there waiting. Go get him. Here's some couple guys BSing after the race, it looks like. And they got a bunch of stuff in the back of the pickup there. I don't know what it looks like a ranchero or something, maybe. That's cool. And yeah, check out that coat the guy's wearing, man. Sweet. I like to find one of those. And this is some, I remember Greg Free telling about this, some kind of a goofy competition thing they had at the drags for entertainment. Uh, I guess seeing them make the goofiest car or something, but that's pretty goofy, so I would imagine that might have won. It's like an old Nash or Rambler or something, maybe. I don't know. And there's a medium length drag. Sure, we had a shorty and then we had a long one. See, like that long one right there. And we got kind of a medium one. Look at that crowd, though. Uh, good old days back then, man. And then that's a nice shot there. Get a nice shot of the tower back there. Nice little dragster there. Might have seen this one. Some of those cars look familiar. Or it could have been with a different car. Going off the line. This is from Yakima. A little town uh, west of us. Well, big town, but... He must have drove over for the races. Sponsored by Yakima Auto Supply there. Nice little Chevy. It looks probably maybe a 59. It might be a 60. I'm not sure. Neat car though. There's just a guy looking at the camera. Don't know who he is. That's a nice little colored shot there. That was a pretty famous car around here. I'm not sure about the yellow one in the back. Well, that's a neat picture, though. Look at the flagger guy there. Yeah, flagman. That, that was back in the good old days. Ooh, that's a nice little colored shot. That's a good shot of the tower that they kind of Mickey Mouse built. I know some of the pictures, if you remember, they had a truck with a big box built on the back of it. And you go stand up on top of that, so... This is a little bit uh, newer picture, a nice little dragster, nice little crowd. That bleacher's there eventually, and that's where I sat when I went to the races in the 60s. Uh, well, I can't remember exactly here, but that bleacher's there, and I sat up in the bleachers and and uh, with my brother, watched the drags, pretty cool. One more here, just kind of like a shot of uh, from the pits looking down the drag strip. Just a neat little shot, you know. The guy just taking a picture, maybe just taking a picture to kind of get an idea of the crowd and what everybody's doing. But pretty cool picture. And that's kind of blurry because the picture's kind of blurry. So anyway, there's a few more pictures. And a couple a couple models that showed up I built back in the day. Well, not way back in the day, but a few years ago. So anyway, that should be, oh yeah, I was going to show you this. This is that thing I just got, uh, I showed you today in that other video, or yesterday I mean, uh, or two days ago, I don't know, whenever I got it, uh, but I decided to uh, sand it down, and it uh, it's coming out pretty good. I'm excited about building this and see how it looks, kind of make a... Nice stock looking uh, Pontiac out of it, but it sounded out pretty good. If you look in that other video and see what it looked like when it was, uh, when I first got it. It was pretty thick old nasty paint, but it came off pretty good. Shoot some primer on this, maybe later today and see how it goes. Anyway, that's what we're doing there. So with that, you know, we get our little cars up here. 
Well, these guys cruise back into their case until some other day when they come out for something, who knows what. So with that, uh, I'll take my coffee and go get some more coffee. And until you guys, uh, thank you very much for subscribing and for watching my videos and uh, for liking and commenting. I appreciate it. And if you haven't uh, subscribed, please do. I'd appreciate it. But, you know, if you just want to look at the videos every once in a while when I pop one up, one looks good to you, you want to watch it, that's cool too. Uh, I just really enjoy doing this, sharing my stuff, and uh, talking models. So, till the next video, whenever that'll be, update, or, or next Tuesday or something. Everybody take care. Have a really good weekend. Hopefully we keep some nice weather for a little while. And until next time... Uh, thank you guys very much, and take care. Bye.